Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Rose. Today we're going to make a gourmet meal for kittens. So this is what you do. First, you get a bowl, and you fill this bowl full of delicious kibble, whatever your veterinarian recommends. All right, you fill that nice and full, and you set it aside. Next, we're going to make wet food. Wet food is delicious, and it is key to getting your kittens nice and fat so that they can get adopted. This is what we're going to do in another bowl. First, we're going to get some little can, about three ounces can of cat food. It can be whatever kind your veterinarian recommends. In this case, we're going to use the kind that comes from the shelter. And they have some uh, fancy feast. All right. We're going to open that up. We're going to dump it in the bowl. And make sure that you get all of the good uh, gravy and juiciness out of there with a spoon. Because the whole point here is to get the kittens really, really fat. All right, so we have this can. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in the can and kind of rinse it around and get the rest of that gooey gravy and kind of swish it around, swish it around, and dump it also in the bowl so that the stuff in the bowl gets really watery and gooey. Then you rinse the can and you put it in recycling. Now, you can also put in some of this. It is Gerber baby food. You can either use turkey or chicken, and you need this uh, second foods, whatever it is. Um, the only thing that's in here is basically like pureed meat. It's like chicken and water and a little bit of cornstarch. If your kittens are sick, they don't feel well, uh, maybe they have a cold and they can't smell anything, uh, or they're feeling real picky or just not very good, they will almost always eat this stuff. And you can use it to put their medicine in. So you put in this stuff in the bowl. And now, when I'm, whoops, ah, I have this concoction in the bowl. It's kind of gross. Ah! I'm dropping stuff! Okay, I have, uh, I got some wet food and some water and some chicken gooey. I'm going to put it in the microwave and I'm going to heat it up for 10 seconds. This is another thing you can do if your cats are not feeling good, they're feeling fussy, they don't want to eat. Heat it up. And last but not least, into this I'm going to put probiotics. Get whatever kind your veterinarian or shelter wants you to use. The probiotics will help keep the babies healthy. What you do is you put in, I have probios here, you put in one quarter teaspoon per kitten per day and that is it.